Hello everyone! So as you probably know, the Stark Tower promo, yeah, the one that looks like a loot llama, it went on sale on the LEGO website over the weekend. And yes, it's sold out, but I think this will change gift with purchases forever. And I know you're thinking, no, this is not a big piece of news. An exclusive set with an exclusive minifigure went on sale for $20, and it's already sold out. Who cares? I do, and I think you should too. And I know, LEGO did the exact same thing before, so why is it big news now? Because this is the second time. LEGO just did this with the Obi-Wan Kenobi polybag super recently. And neither of these sets were intended for sale. They're barely even sets because, well, you couldn't buy them. They were a gift with purchase. But both randomly appeared on LEGO.com anyways. And this really changes how gift with purchases are going to work. But before I explain why, why would LEGO make gift with purchases anyway? Well, it's to get you to buy more sets to get like an exclusive minifigure or an exclusive Loot Llama Stark Tower. And the reason they would put them up for sale is like they've always had, they have extras, and now instead of just giving them away after the date, they're like, here, we're going to sell, sell them on our site. And that makes more money and it gets people happy. So that makes sense, right? Well, yes, but not actually, because if this continues to happen, people are going to be like, well, why spend $100 on Star Wars sets to get an exclusive minifigure when like next month it'll be on eBay for $5 because Lego put the set up for sale? Because when they put it up for sale, there's a lot of them all of a sudden. You can see the Stark Tower was going for 70 bucks last week. Now it's going for 15 Sealed, it's going for 15 So, I mean, I think that's pretty obvious that the devaluation happens instantly. Same thing with Obi-Wan Polybag, by the way. That one was worth, like, a lot. I don't have the exact number here, but I think it was also going for, like, 50 60 for one minifigure. No tower with it anyway. And now, like, it's going for, like, $5. So I think people will eventually go, no, I'm not going to spend $100 for a Star Wars set, especially since it's one with, like, Rey, and I don't care about Rey. In a couple of months, the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, it'll be on the LEGO site for, like, $4 or whatever, which is obviously a lot cheaper than buying a $100 LEGO set you don't want. So it kind of devalues stuff, and I think if it continues to devalue, LEGO will either go, well, we're going to stop selling them because it devalues them, or we'll go, no more gift with purchases. And I don't know about you, but I love gift with purchases. So just keep in mind, when gift with purchases come out, don't, don't take me for my word at this, but there is a good chance that they will become available later. So if, like, I already bought all the Star Wars sets, I don't want to buy them again, don't buy them again. There's a good chance that the exclusive will come back. So what do you think? Am I just crazy? Do you like that they're coming out for sale because anyone can get them now? Or do you like them to stay exclusive? Because I don't know about you, I kind of like them to stay exclusive, but at the same time, there is no way I was getting these sets. But now I'll probably pick them on, up on eBay at some point. Anyway, leave your thoughts down in the comments. Do you like this change? Do you not like this change? Why do you or not? And peace out. Also, subscriber, this guy will haunt you for the rest of your days.